Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm creating an interactive slider card, which I think I still need a little bit more practice on because I do run into a couple of problems. But in the end, I cover those up and I still make an adorable interactive card. I'm just quickly showing you all of the products that I used, but basically I'm using the Oh Gnome stamp set by Lawn Fawn as well as several other Lawn Fawn products. I've coupon colored my images off screen to save a little time and then I'm just going to jump right into creating the background. I die cut a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock using the Hillside Backdrop die and I've also die cut several elements from Nina 80 pound cardstock. I also die cut a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock using a large rectangle stitch die from some Bristol Smooth cardstock and then I'm going to create the sky background just by ink blending with Mermaid Lagoon Distress Oxide ink. I am using my blender brush here to add that ink to that background and then I'll just go back and forth buffing out any scuff marks or any marks that are left behind. I did use my distress sprayer with water and I've sprayed that panel and then I've mopped it up with a paper towel. To create the hillside, I am ink blending mowed lawn onto that die cut and then I go in with pine needles just to intensify it and add a little bit of shading to the hillside. Then I'll go in with this little detail blending brush or tool and add Mermaid Lagoon around the edges to finish it off. Here I'm just ink blending this little extra piece with Mowed Lawn and Pine Needles Distress Oxide. And this is the piece that will go behind where I die cut my slider so that the background kind of matches the foreground. Next I can start working on all of the elements for this card and first I'm going to color in the flower border die cut with some Copic markers. I'm not doing anything fancy here, I'm just using a couple of shades to color in the stems of the flowers and then just a couple of different markers to shade in some of those flowers. The bottom portion will be covered so I'm not even taking time to color that in at all. And then I can check and make sure everything is everything that's supposed to be within that frame is co colored up. I took these stitched mountain borders die and I die cut some dark gray cardstock for my scene and then to finish those off I die cut some snow for the mountain tops out of white cardstock and then I can adhere all those together. Once I had these snow caps adhered to the mountain I can start adhering some of those components to my background. Here I'm just double checking that everything still lines up the way I want it and then I'm using some liquid adhesive to add the mountains to the background. And then I can also adhere that little piece that I ink blended so that my foreground is same as the background. Mm -hmm. 
To create the slider, first I die cut one of these slider elements from the slide on over set by Lawn Fawn in the top panel. I think I cut that slider a little too low, but I'm trying to make it work. Second, I'm using a penny to line everything up. That would be my slider mechanism, which here you can tell that I've changed my mind and I'm using another element. So I kind of had to finagle with that foam tape to move it in place. So that was a bit of a struggle. So if I can give you any advice is pick one slider element and stick with it. Don't change your mind halfway through. The basic design of this is you pick your slider element, you line it up where it needs to be, then you add foam tape to everything else. I do go ahead and double up on the foam tape just to give that slider mechanism a little bit of room. And then I added, I cut some of the foam tape and I added it to the rest of the panel. Also doubling up so that everything was nice and even. And then when I have all of that foam tape, and this is not my original idea by any means, but I am using liquid adhesive added to that foam tape just so I don't end up messing up here at the end. Adding the liquid adhesive gives me just a little moment or two of time so that I can wiggle the front of that card into place. And then I go in and pull out the rest of the backing of the foam tape and adhere that into place. So there is kind of what that looks like. My little gnome that was is on the slider mechanism, it's a little bit wobbly, it's a little bit not, not fairly well secured. So I think that's where I, I made that mistake by adding, by changing my mind halfway through with that mechanism. But it's okay, it still kind of looks cute. Uh, but here are the little girlfriend in place with liquid adhesive and she's not on a slider mechanism. And after all that, I realized I did not stamp the sentiment. So very, very carefully, I picked out my sentiment from the stamp set and added it to a block and prayed that I don't mess up at this point. So very carefully, I stamped the sentiment using Versamark ink directly onto the background. And then I felt like there was something missing. It just seemed like it was a little bit too plain for me. So from one of the stamp sets from, I'm not sure which stamp set it was, I found these little butterflies. I just die, die cut them out and colored them in with my Copic markers to sort of match the color combo that I've got going on. And then I will use a white gel pen and add some dots. And to finish everything off, I've added a little flower in the little gnome boy's hand so you can give to his girlfriend. And I colored in this wheelbarrow and added it to the scene. And that will just complete that card. Oh, I do go ahead and adhere the, the entire thing to a top folding, or I'm sorry, side folding card base. And I test it out one more time and he wobbles and wibbles a little bit, but that's okay. He still makes it over to the other side to give his little girlfriend a flower. That is it for this card. Thanks so much for hanging around and watching me mess up a few times on this card. I still think it looks adorable even if it's not quite functional. 
Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.